Uh, hi, uh, my name's Christopher Smith. I'm Brecken. I'm Mark. I'm Anthony. And I'm James, and we're from So Make It, Southampton's Makerspace. Uh, with big thanks to Lulzbot, we've actually won a competition to win the Lulzbot's latest printer, the Taz 3, which we've got in this box, which we're just going to open. Start here. That'll do. And packing it. More instructions. Loads of instructions. Power supply. Very nicely packed. Screwed up. Slide out the foam padding. From the left side of the frame. The top is this side. You want to rotate it towards again. <laughs> Yep, take that off. Ah, here we go, yeah. It's folded up, now you freestyle. It will buzz if you touch the front side. <laughs> no, let's take it back down. Carefully. <laughs> Big old printing. Big. <laughs> it says remove this and four bits of tape, doesn't it? It does. I think before, like it says remove protective pieces from the frame. It may seem like a silly feature, but I'm quite impressed by the little transport parts actually, just to keep it all quite together in transit. 3D cool. printed, of course. Yep, so it's all in one piece at least. Mm. And so we've got the main frame, which is mostly metal. There's quite a few 3D printed parts on it. I think there's laser cut parts now instead as well, so these bits here uh, look to be laser cut. Uh, yeah, what would you say that is? Polycarbonate? Yeah, I think it mm. is. All the uh, mechanism around the, um, the Z drive is still printed. I think there's around 40 3D printed parts on it somewhere. Got real so bearings um, instead of uh, ball bearings as well, I like that. So actual linear bearings? Yes. Okay. And so that's this needs assembling. So that's the heat bed, which is a silicon heat bed stuck on the glass. That's again on linear bearings. And then we've got all the other bits. So we've got the extruder. And what sort of what sort of hot end is on there? That is the Budish nozzle, I believe they call it. That's their own design. Cool. And then the, we've got various power supply components. So. Uh, that's the DC power supply um, and the AC power supply. Super, and we've also got traditionally the Lulzbot tool kit, specifically for the printer in the Let's Lulzbot we've got branded here. bag. A so pot, Lulz which I'm assuming is pot. acetone yes. safe. We have tweezers, a craft knife, a pointy thing. Full set of metric Allen keys. Well, that's good. Oh, a yes. ruler with a clip. I use that all the time on mine. Uh -huh. You'll have to show me what for in a moment. <laughs> a metal brush, which I'm assuming is for cleaning out the uh, hobbing. Yep. Yep. In the other side, we have some pliers, the uh, crab knife. <laughs> and a an spanner. Power from we need it. This slots in the top. So underneath there is a lip and a a tongue, if you like, that it fits into. <clears throat> then the extruder is held on with one screw, which makes it easy to change for another extruder, perhaps a flexi extruder or some other design. So using the correct Allen key from the tool kit.
There we go. Excellent. And all of the connectors are nicely keyed as well, which is good. Sleeper, so the so uh, Yeah, on all, all those ones as well. Someone's taking a webcam photo. Are these are uh, connectors for the heated bed then. So we've got a full colour manual with a nice glossy cover that's got all of the instructions for setup and everything to where we are now, which is doing your first print that tells you how to use the control panel. All of that stuff, which we've got here in real life. So we're just preheating to print in ABS. We've got um, a sample of material, which is this yellow. Um, normally the spool would sit on this handy fold-out thing and it would go down the tube into the extruder, but we've only got a meter, so I'm just going to pop that in manually and see if we can print something off the SD card. Wow, that's fast. You feel me? <laughs> There's an octopus coming out. So it came with a test print, which was printed on this printer, so basically it's all been calibrated and ready to go, so short of anything getting knocked in transit, which it appears not to have done, pretty much works as soon as you bolt it together. So we've finished printing the uh, the octopus with the uh, provided G-code and it looks pretty much the same as the uh, test print. Some nice green filament though. And we're now printing our logo. The so make it keyring. Our favourite little test print. So uh, a few things we like about the printer. I'm going to go with, I like that the glass is actually mounted onto the bed. Which means that as it heats and cools it can't affect the level at all. Mark, you like? Yeah, I like the fact that it's very quiet. And uh, the, yeah, the bearings seem to make a big difference to how quiet it is. And when building it, the fact that all the connectors for connecting the electronics were keyed nicely. And they all secure here with a latch. You pointed that out. Tyler's joined yeah. us, by the way. <laughs> oh. And the uh, the anti backlash. Back yeah. Anti backlash. The dead sprung. There's little springs in here then. I mean, there's not much in the way of exposed connectors. Uh, it's very safe for our members to use without any issues. Right, and for us to take to places. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, so I guess we'll be doing a lot more videos printing stuff with this. I certainly hope so. And hoping to document lots of member projects. Thank you for joining us. Cheers, Lulzbot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.